Good Friday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. There are a few isolated showers out there to start the day off this morning. A little bit of drizzle going on as well, so don't be surprised if you step outside this morning and feel a few raindrops. 43 degrees currently out there at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury, the same here at the Weather Center in the south west corner of Rowan County and Atwell and you can see temperatures around the area in the mid 30s to mid 40s depending on where you look the cold spot on the map this morning uh, Jefferson and Wilkesboro coming in at 36 degrees each and then the warm spot on the map looks like it's going to be Charlotte coming in at 46 degrees at the Charlotte Douglas Airport. Let's go ahead and take a look at the southeast in general and see how things are shaping up there. You see we've got a front that is down to our south, uh, basically in southern Georgia and just off the coast as well, that will pull some moisture in as we go through the day today, bringing moisture in from the Gulf Coast, and it will give us some rain chances uh, by this afternoon and evening. And then as we head through the day tomorrow, we could see some severe weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at the model data and what we can expect. This is at 4 p.m. today, and we're really going to take you right through into the morning or into the daytime hours and evening hours on Saturday. So again, this is 4 p.m. You see some isolated showers passing through, and they'll continue to pass through as we head to the evening and overnight hours. And nothing severe to worry about. And then as we head into Saturday, the rain chances will start to pick up as we go through the day on Saturday. And again, we could see some severe weather by Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. And you can see, again, things remain spotty for the most part. So if you got some plans during, uh, you know, during the morning hours outside on Saturday, I think you're in good shape. This is 8 a.m. Saturday morning, 9 a.m., a few little isolated showers around the county. There's 10 a.m., 11 this is now midday, so 12 p.m. And there you see what we've got to watch, that line of showers and storms starting to make its way uh, into the eastern Tennessee area and into the western North Carolina mountains. This is now 1 p.m., 2 p.m. This is 3 p.m. on Saturday. By 4 p.m. Saturday, uh, we'll start to see some showers and storms move through the county and the area. This is now 5 p.m. Uh, then it's now 6 p.m. You see the showers and storms continuing. By 7 p.m., they're still going on. This is now 8 p.m. Another line will have developed in the mountains by that point, <clears throat> going on 9 p.m. Saturday. And then, as you see, 10 p.m. Saturday evening, uh, now to 11. This is midnight Saturday going into Sunday, uh, 1 a.m. Sunday morning. And uh, we'll continue to see showers and storms move through. And we'll clear out by the daytime hours on Sunday. Uh, damaging winds are the main threat right now with this uh, system that will be coming through on Saturday. There is a very low risk for tornadoes and hail. Uh, but basically, damaging winds, frequent lightning are going to be the main threats here. Could see winds in excess of 60 miles an hour in terms of gust. So something to keep an eye on. We'll keep an eye on our friends out to our west today as those are going to be the folks dealing with it today and see what kind of trend develops with this system as it moves through those areas. The severe threat for us right now is marginal based on what the Storms Prediction Center is showing us. As you see, uh, Salisbury there in all of Rowan County in that darker shade of green, the lighter shade off to our east is a uh, general thunderstorm risk. And uh, again, this is for Saturday afternoon and evening, so something we'll continue to keep an eye on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the weather impacts now uh, for today and see what we've got going on there. And you can see we've got cloudy skies this morning. Winds will be out of the south, southwest at around five miles an hour. Isolated rain chances are possible this afternoon and evening, but very little rainfall accumulation is expected. Now let's take a look at the sponsors for the weather impacts. That is Patterson Farm. They've got the all season passes on sale out there right now. Uh, all the details you need to know about it are at pattersonfarm.com. You can also see some information on our website and as well as uh, on our social media post about the Patterson Farm uh, all season passes. There's a promo code you can use. All the details about that again are available on social media and on our website as well. <clears throat> so for all the details on that, again, visit pattersonfarm.com or check out 
RoanCountyWeather.com or our Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram feeds for all the details. Christmas in the Groove in China Groove going on this Saturday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. <clears throat> As of right now, that's still going on. The town hasn't told me otherwise. The only thing that has been canceled is the sledding, and that's weather permitting. Or that was weather permitting originally, and that has now been canceled because of the amount of rainfall we could see. Just not going to work out. So the sledding will take place sometime in January or February. More information will come from the town on that. Uh, as far as things going on out at Hannah Park, Santa and Mrs. Claus will be out there. Face painting going on. Hot chocolate as well up at the roller mill, Mrs. Claus. There'll be some caroling and ornament making going on at the roller mill, games and cotton candy over at the fire department, and then hot dogs and drinks will be for sale as well. So certainly a fun time to be had out there at Christmas in the Groove. It always is every year, and it'll be a great time out there from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. on December the 11th. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling. Built on integrity, give them a call 704 857 5684. Visit them on their website www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today we'll see sun or excuse me, cloudy skies during the morning hours. 30% chance of showers this afternoon and evening, high of 54, low of 51 on Saturday. We've got an 80% chance of rain. It's not going to be a washout throughout the day. As you saw during the morning hours, there will be some time to get out there and get something done. But as we head into the afternoon, things change quickly and really get uh, into a severe possibility as we go through the afternoon and evening hours. 80% chance of rain and uh, thunderstorms on Saturday, high of 70, low of 39. On Sunday, we start to dry out again. We'll see a high of 54 with sunny skies, clear skies, Sunday evening low of 28. Monday, sunny skies, high of 58. Mostly clear skies, Monday evening low of 30. And then on Tuesday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 62. Mostly clear skies, Tuesday evening with a low of 34. As we look to the end of next week, another uh, ridge of high pressure is going to set up over the eastern part of the country. And it's going to take us up to around 70 degrees once again as we get to the end of next week. So. We'll continue to keep you updated on that, but a very mild December will continue for us, unfortunately, as we head toward the Christmas holiday. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with the Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire, Channel 394, Spectrum, Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Friday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.